Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Well, there's someone here who's free from something with the selkie. What else can you show me here as a collective? What messages do you have? Ooh, thank you for the collective. Yeah, I feel like, there, you know, injustice. I feel like there's been a major injustice done to you. I feel like you've been standing behind your truth. Um, you know exactly what's happening here. I feel like you're extremely intuitive. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, uh, you could also be a, yeah, Aquarius here energy is really what I'm getting. But I feel like you've got these special abilities here and you're, um, you're accepting that something may be over, right? This is acceptance, letting go, freeing yourself from whatever injustice was done to you, okay? I feel like you've got all the clarity you need to move forward. That's basically what this is. You've got all the clarity you need to move forward. You know what's been done to you. And by now, if your person hasn't come forward to apologize, you probably know why. Um, I, I feel like they they could be stuck in something. These I feel in the karmic energy out here. But um, yeah, I feel like this is you. Using your intuition, moving forward, freeing yourself from this toxic energy, okay? Which is really good. Um, clarify injustice. Hold on, let me get the tarot on it. Yeah, whatever wrongdoing that's been done against you, collective, you it's like your your intuition is so lit now. You yeah, you you know what's been done to you. Yep, by some king of swords energy, possible soulmate here. Somebody did something bad to you. They could have said something harsh or just gave you a very harsh cutoff. You were probably abandoned, ghosted. I'm seeing this King of Swords just doing kind of whatever they want to and cutting you off cold. So um, no communication. You both could be thinking about each other, though. You're both holding up a sword here. But I feel like you're, you know, you may not trust this person anymore. You're standing pretty behind that sword, okay? You're kind of hiding half your face here. You, you Maybe that's what you're doing, too. You may, you may be trying to avoid communication with this person. Maybe you know that they, this person may want to reach out. No, yeah, they want to come forward with a cup of love, and you don't trust this person anymore. You've just freed yourself from this, and now they want to come back in. Like, seriously, yeah, they don't want you going anywhere, um, but you're, you're an earth angel, you're a light worker, you go where the divine tells you to go. I feel like that's what you're doing, you're, you, you've been listening to the messages, you've been led through this whole thing, okay? You have earned your right to move forward. You have, you have earned your right to move forward, collective. You've done your work. You've learned your lessons. You've passed all your tests here. This is a graduation card to me. You don't get to this point unless you've put forth the effort. And now to the, you're, you're at a point where you can accept everything and move forward with, um, you know, not being, without being in your emotions over it, you know, without feeling that heartache, right? Um, like you did in the past. Now, you know, now you're able to step into something new. You're already trying to focus, like, not really, you're not really focused on it, but you are sort of manifesting a new soulmate connection. You're willing to try something new here. You're, you could be putting yourself out in the public eye, that kind of thing. And I feel like this person, they don't want you to set yourself free. They don't want you to set yourself free, but you earned this. You earned it with all the work you've done. And I feel like you have a calling, too. So, you know, you're going to do what the divine wants you to do. Um, what's this? 
Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to work on things with you here. Yeah, they want a new beginning, Cancer. Did I say Cancer? I'm so sorry. Collective. You could be a Cancer or they could be a Cancer. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. You could be a Sagittarius or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could be a, yeah, your person could be a Sagittarius or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Those are the signs I have out here. Devil in reverse and the Ten of, uh, ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there is um, a toxic situation that's coming to an end here. This person could have been committed. Maybe that's the truth that you know now. I feel like they kept something hidden from you, but now you know. Now you know. And that truth is able to free you from the situation. Now I feel like this person was in a toxic commitment somewhere else here. And that's, that's over, I feel. Clarify that. Clarify the devil in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person, yeah, you're about to get some kind of communication here. Cancer, what did I say? You could be a Cancer, they could be a Cancer, but somebody's coming towards you here. I feel like someone's speeding towards you here. Um, you're their Empress. Yeah, something's coming to an end and then this person comes in. There's that communication. Page of Pentacles, get ready, collective. This person's ready to communicate just as you break free. They do not, I told you, they don't want you to leave. They. You could be moving. Um, I feel like they don't want you to move on, but you've earned that right. You've earned the right to move on. All right, what can you show me about this Page of Pentacles for the collective? Yeah. They're seeing everything from a new perspective now. This person was, I don't know, they didn't see anything clearly. They didn't. They, it was, uh, their, their, their vision was clouded with all of this fog. Um, I feel like they treated you like an option and they shouldn't have. They can see where it is that you're going in life, okay? And you're about to be very abundant here. They can see that. And now that it's like a light bulb goes off. Oh my gosh, the collective would have been, this would have been my dream come true. Yep. Yeah, you you are a dream come true for this person now. Now they want to get back together. Now they want to get back together. Um, you, well, you're the empress. You're extremely abundant. This is extremely abundant. This is every queen in the deck here. You don't need anyone in this position. You've leveled up in your life, and look at all these pillows that you're sitting on. You live in a very comfortable, comfortable life right now. Okay, because of your abundance and stability. And now this person, now all of a sudden, oh, wow, the fog is lifted. They see that bling, right? And now they want this collective. You do not trust this person. And part of this, this is why. Because it seems like this person, it's, it's almost looking like... Um, They think that you can give them a very easy life. You can give them an easy life, so they don't want you leaving the scene. They don't want you leaving the scene here. They don't want you free from this. Yeah, this person's focused on their finances. This could be a boss, business owner. Um, could be like a, a father of, of um, your children, or they could have a family over here with whatever they've They've been committed. This person has, has spent all of this time in a toxic commitment. That's a confirmation for somebody. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
I've got Pisces out here now too and Cancer and Air Signs yeah this now they want to get back together with you here but I feel like they turned their nose up at you in the past and they're thinking about all of the ways they treated you like crap how are they gonna come back in now you would have given them like you would have been able to they could have lived a life of luxury with you really they could have lived a life of luxury with you they could have had it all with you and I feel like they threw it all away for somebody who was toxic they threw it all away for the devil okay yeah, they don't want that anymore now. They want you. Now they want you because, see, while they were with the devil, everything that they had going for them has been dwindling away. I said that in a reading earlier. Um, they're down to five pentacles now, which is like um, financial struggles and poverty. Um, they could be out in the cold. This person could have lost a business or a job. Um they could need financial help. Nothing's growing for them. They could be uh, feeling sick now, to the, starting to lose their health at this point. So be very careful, collective, because I feel like this person, they're looking at your abundance. They're looking right at it. But they were so willing to treat you like you were nothing. You're the only person in all of these cups that's covered up with a sheet. They didn't want to look at this again. They wanted to put it behind them. Okay? Um, but now, now they want to come back in because they see you being abundant. I feel like you know this, man. You're very intuitive. Once again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Very intuitive. Extremely spiritual. Being divinely led. Earth angel energy. Okay. Yeah. Not only did you give them the best love ever. The Queen of Cups MO is love. Nobody loves like the Queen of Cups does. Nobody. So not only were you loving, nurturing, uh, gentle, sweet to this person, right? Caring, giving. Maybe that's what they're hoping for. You know, if they would have gotten with you, you would have possibly shared your abundance with them but not after they stabbed you in the back. See this sword that you're holding here? That's the sword they stuck in your back. You had to heal from that yourself. So, you know, um, yeah. You were betrayed because of the love you gave. And now this person, you know, now they realize they lost somebody. They lost an earth angel. They lost someone who's very abundant. They lost an empress, man. And they're feeling like an idiot. Yes, Potato, we've talked about this before, though. I'm, I'm recording right now. We've had this conversation. That's my cat, Potato. Potato's like 20 pounds. I know. I know. I know, buddy. I'll give you your catnip in a minute, okay? There. There, there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, anyway, this person, now they feel, they feel stupid because, because of the way they treated you. They're having to stay up all night, right? Every night, <coughs> excuse me, this person doesn't rest. They can't rest with all of this on their mind. They chose the wrong person. They didn't find the value. They didn't see the value in your love, in everything that was in that cup. They're only looking at the material value of things, okay? And now they're feeling dumb because they could have had it all with you. They could have had it all. Yeah, and now they're rolling in the deep. And so see this fugly bedspread here? It's, I, I think it's the ugliest bedspread in the world. It looks more like a tablecloth, but... um. But this is what they have to look at every day, every night, is the ugly patterns of their own behavior. The way that they treated you and possibly other people. Hopping from, from one 
cup to the next, trying to find the most abundant one. They thought you had nothing. They even covered you up with a sheet. These people probably thought you were, you were out, you were down, but you actually built yourself back up. Okay, you leveled up in your life. Empress. And now they're, they're taking another look. You know, whatever, tower moment. Boom, they see the truth. They could have had happiness with you. They could have had ultimate happiness and wish fulfillment with you. And they freaking blew it. They blew it, collective. They blew it. Um, because they treated you miserably. Okay. All right. And I'm not the only reader who's picking up on this energy, you guys. It's like every reader is picking up on this energy. So what is this person going to do? What action are they going to take? I feel like they, they want to take a leap of faith towards you. Here's the fool. They want to go back to someone in their past that they don't want to let go of. They do not want this cycle over with you. They don't want you putting yourself out there because you're sexy. Okay? Um, yeah, they don't, they, they, they want to keep you to themselves, I feel. But um, you're already releasing here. You're, you've already freed yourself. And you've earned that right. What action is this person going to take towards the collective? Could be dealing with the Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, Leo. You could be a Leo. They're falling apart at night, I'm not going to lie. This person, they don't know what to do. They're feeling so dumb right now. Um, it's because they made a mistake. And they didn't see the value of love. Okay? They didn't, they didn't see your value. Yeah, I feel like um, this person wants to heal things with you here. Well, of course, because they're looking at your money. They're looking at your money. Oh, no, I lost the... You mean the, the collective was going to be the abundant one? Dang it. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Like, All right, what is this person going to do? What action are they going to take towards the collective? They're thinking on it. They don't know what to do. They're thinking. They're trying to make up a plan. Maybe they're taking a look at how they treated you. That's what they're doing their inner work right now. They're doing their inner dark work right now. Okay, their shadow work. Looking at their shadow self. Going through a lot of pain right now. This is a lot of tears. A lot of fears. Um, a lot of uh, mental anguish really is what it is. Yeah. This person's going through like a dark night of the soul. Feel like you're protected, collective. You're in star energy. You're an earth angel. I feel like I feel like you triggered this person. To go through their dark night. This is this is the way an earth angel um, brings people to their spiritual path, you know. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, suffering a huge loss, a lot of tears, a lot of stress, mental anguish. I mean, this really feels like a very high anxiety, dark night of the soul. That's what it feels like. That that crushing moment where you realized um, you could have had it all. You held a lottery ticket, the golden ticket in the palm of your hands, and you tossed it into the wet curb. That's when this person realizes it, like, no, you know? This is one of those no kind of moments. That's what this is. I'm really sensing a dark night of the soul starting for this person, like, and the, and the thing is, is they can't think of a good plan to come back in, okay? They can't. Believe me, this hermit is going through every scenario they can possibly think of to find a way to get you back, and they can't really think of one. 
All right, so what else can you show me? What action is this person going to take? I think this is their action right now. They're starting the process. They're sinking into a, in a, in a dark depression, looking at themselves and their behavior kind of state, you know? Yeah, they're heartbroken. A lot of tears right now. This person's in the dark night of the soul. They're realizing a lot about how they treated an earth angel. Yep. They're realizing it. And they're having a tower moment because of it. They know. They know they just, they, they lost their everything. They could have had it all and they lost their everything. I don't know how else to put it. So the dark night of the soul, it's not just for one night, right? No, no, it's not. It, it keeps going until you, until you come out of it. I mean, until you learn your lessons, until you can purge enough of the pain out and, and start to heal, right? Then you start your healing process. This is something that can take a little while, Collective. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this isn't somebody who's, I mean, the, you know, they do want to talk. They do want to make you an offer here. But they've got to get through all this darkness first. And I don't know how long that will take. Because everybody's different. So, you know, um, Dark Night of the Soul does take a while. They've got to take a good hard look at themselves. So that they don't keep running around willy-nilly, just picking people at random, the most abundant one. That that's not how you treat love. They're learning love right here. They're learning love, even though it hurts. So I guess let them learn it and keep doing you. Keep doing you. You know the truth, right? You know the truth, and I feel like you're moving forward. Because you know what? You, you have every right to. 